when I decided that I'm going to do this, some friends came up to me obviously saying that you need to think twice about this. Truth be told, I'm not even a, a brewer myself. Plenty of naysayers around me saying that it's a crazy dream, but the sheer passion I have uh, gives me the motivation and the desire to want to do this. And if it's not me, who else is going to do it? Yeah, this sounds a bit like an ad. <laughs> <laughs> we started the General Brewing Co. three years ago. I'm known to a lot of people, Singapore has a very vibrant uh, local home brewing scene. Uh, it's been a three year journey together with them making some of the best beer that you're going to taste in Singapore. Okay, right now we are milling the grains, which is the first step of our brew day. So the grains are actually old and they have husks on them. So when milling, we actually break up the husks for us to access the inside starches and uh, enzymes, where we need to break it up to access all the flavors inside. We usually go through about anywhere from 100 kg to 150 kg of grains per brew day. And this will take us about half an hour to mill. The grains we use are from Chris from the UK. And they actually produce grains that allow us to make more flavorful brews. So the first brewmaster that I worked with gave me great advice saying being a brewer is being 70% of made. 20% brewer, and then 10% mechanic. We're constantly cleaning everything in order to get rid of bacteria and help the yeast do exactly what it should. So the step after milling is mashing. That is where we steep the grains in hot water. In this tank here called the mash cut. We steep it in about 67 to 68 degrees water for an hour. So at this temperature, the enzymes that are naturally present in the grains are activated and the enzymes actually convert the starches into sugar and it also extracts all the malt flavour from the grains. As we add the grains into the hot water, they actually tend to clump up just like how flour clumps up when you add it to water. So uh, we actually stir it up to ensure that everything disperses and is homogeneous. This usually takes about 10 minutes but it can take longer if you are using a lot of grains. Craft beer is about the pursuit of excellence. What we want to do is also to build a legacy for the industry. We want to make sure that the next generation of home brewers will build on what we have done, representing Singapore well, and obviously bring our beers beyond the shores of Singapore. Okay, so after spending half an hour in the mesh hut, most of the starches have been converted into sugars. So now the liquid is actually called words. All right, so right now we're recirculating the wort. You can see inside here, there's all these particles, the uh, proteins and crushed up wheat malt and barley malt that are coming off the very fine particles. And we don't want these in the beer. So we're gonna take these off, recirculate it back up and put it on top. That's a process that's called vorloffing. Once we can see the this is nice and clear, then we're gonna collect it into the kettle. The whole process takes about 15 to 20 minutes. My favorite part of the brew date will probably be adding hops into the kettle. Because that's when you get all the hop aroma just coming out and filling the whole brewery. Hops are actually a plant, but what we use are actually the cones, the flowers. At General Brewing Company, we prefer to add the hops at the end of the boil so that we maximize the amount of aroma and flavor that we extract without getting too much bitterness. So after two weeks of fermentation, the yeast has done all of its job. It's converted the sugars into alcohol. So now it's time to take the beer off the yeast and any dry hops that we added. So we'll transfer the beer from the fermenting tank into the bright tank, which is uh, a bit more flatter at the bottom. So what the bright tank does is it allows more of the yeast to settle out and it allows us to dial in our carbonation. The beer will spend about five days to a week in the bright tank. And then from there, we can package it and send it out to the bars. At every stage of the lifespan of the beer, from production of it to the end consumer when they taste the beer, for us, it's always been about the quality. We exist to celebrate the passion of the people behind the craft. And beer is soulless without the people behind them. It's been a wonderful journey. We have 
continue to pursue what we believe in. We've done plenty of amazing stuff in the last three years and I think we have made a statement for what we do and we'll continue to do so for Singapore.